This is the rear end of my car. It's pretty ugly. This is the front of my car. It's not so ugly. It's modeled after the Nissan Skyline from the old days. The only thing ugly about it is this headlight. It's not very clear. Here we have the antenna mount. And inside the trunk you'll find all of our handy dandy hamsticks. As well, <coughs> a spring is that I bought. I don't really think I need it though. And here's the mount, trunk lip mount. It is uh, pretty well grounded actually. I don't, I don't, it's kind of amazing for it being just a plain old car. But here it goes through into the trunk, into the back seat, which doesn't fold down. And there also isn't a subwoofer, but there's subwoofer cables. And a broken multimeter. And the cable just sits somewhere around in this pile of trash. Pretty much any, any time I have trash, it goes right here. Or over there. Hey, there's my polo. Unfortunately, I don't have a radio that fits in here yet, but when I do, it's going to go right here. Where these melted sour worms once were. This is disgusting. Oh, crap. here's the engine in all its glory. We got a cold air intake that goes down to a pretty dirty filter. Um, and a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that uh, has, I guess, 200, maybe 180 horsepower. That can hit uh, 0 to 60 in like 8 seconds, maybe a little bit less than that on a good day with the AC off. And also hit 30 miles per gallon. Another pretty cool thing about the car is it's pretty much RF silent. There's a little bit of ignition noise and uh, of course alternating noise, but only when the AC is off, it's pretty much silent from there. When the AC is on, it goes crazy, but who needs AC in the summer anyway? It's not that hot. It's only like 80 degrees outside today. But yeah, that's my set of wheels. Uh, while we're outside, let's go take a look at the Wyndham that I uh, put back up when it after it fell down some time ago. Up here is the Wyndham, sort of. I incorporated a sweet new design, having pulleys instead of just throwing the rope over the tree. I have a pulley over the tree and then the rope is going through a pulley so it's easy to take down and put back up without having to shoot lines over trees. Here's the upper uh, ballon that connects the counterpoise uh, to the vertical hanging radiator of the Wyndham and if we scroll down a little bit here we can see the lower line isolator that connects the feed point to the vertical radiator. And also you see this white rope here that's going up into that tree somewhere and what that is is basically a rescue rope now what I have done is uh, tied that line to uh, tie the pulley to the rescue rope so in case uh, I need to pull the pulley down I can pull that rope and I can pull it back up so I don't have to uh, you know shoot lines over the trees the only thing is it's kind of unsightly being you know white and visible all the way down to the bottom of the tree following the path of the window that goes from that tree behind the tall one there all the way over to this tree right here. So basically what I done was uh, I took a fishing line, shot it over, and then from there I pulled the line back up over that tree. And then on the end of that line I put a pulley and it was tied to a little white mason cord and then pulled that back over and tied it down on that tree. Before that, before I pulled it back over, you had to take the line of the rope on the uh, dipole, or the windham in my case, and then fish it through the pulley way up there, and put it down, uh, anchor it to that tree right there, and then that just went to the next tree, and then did it the same thing over again. And sadly, I don't have any fancy grounding. The feed line just comes in here and plugs straight into the reed. The only grounding it has is uh, the negative ground or the negative line on the DC power supply is grounded to the house ground. But yeah, that's my updated check, my antenna, and my car, I guess. I didn't really know what else to do. I've been making a lot of videos recently. Anyway, two weeks from now, I won't be here. I'll be down in Rolla, Missouri at WZOAAA, and that is the club of the Missouri University of Science and Technology, or Missouri S&T for short, uh, ham radio club. Down there we got a new FT-1000MP, got a FT-897, got some uh, Kenwood TS-820 and 850 and some tuners and, and receivers and all kinds of new stuff as well as our antenna that's still sitting in the corner of the shack and not up on the tower because this summer we neglected to put it up. 
But anyway, thanks for watching the 73, and I hope to catch you on the air. Enzo SSC out.